Hey there, children of the sun, Captain Chief Phoenix Firebird, Star Child of America here for you, and I want to tell you about the Planetary Activation Crew, looking for members, and I want to tell you what up with the shit show, flip flop, flippity Tuesday, tri top, and a bacon sizzle, chitlin bitches. Okay, first of all, the mission statement of the Planetary Activation Crew is we, Planetary Activation Crew, are here on Gaia taking drastic and immediate action to save all life on Earth, Gaia. Through our Project Peace campaign, we are removing toxic chemicals and replacing them with safe, natural solutions. We will ensure the survival of Homo sapiens into the next 77 generations. Well, I'm sorry, that has actually been updated. This was written several, some, I don't know, handful, whatever, kind of, years ago. When I was still attached to saving the Homo sapiens, but all of my advisors and every possible research report, every Scientific study that was done absolutely tell you the same thing that if you do not get rid of the Homo sapiens problem very quickly, all life will die, the planet will die, everything will blow up, and you will be fucked, and everything will be fucked, and everything will be gone. So, Homo sapiens, goodbye. Listen to a little intel report, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Homo sapiens will be disappearing from planet Earth over the next 18 months. Get ready for the show. You won't even know what happened to you because you don't think anyways. All you do is shit, fuck, consume, fuck, shit, consume, fuck, fuck. Fuck more, fuck ass, fuck kids, fuck animals, fuck holes in walls, fuck slippers, fuck doorknobs, fuck couch cushions, fuck car glove boxes. I will give a hundred dollars to anyone who sends me a video of them fucking uh the right eye of Thomas Jefferson on Mount Rushmore. Okay, listen, back to the Planetary Activation Crew mission statement. We will ensure the survival of, nope, by which time all life will be restored to original Gaian templates as a planetary living library of life abundant and divine. We are returning to the ancient royal wonders to humanity. At the end of time's dispensation, humanity has been instructed to exchange... Their worthless paper money, ones and zeros, for these ancient royal treasures, which restore the original 144 activated DNA divine human template. Our planetary rebirthing masters are grading the planet for Gaia's rebirth and setting the crystal grid for all those humans who wish to ascend with Gaia so they may be stabilized and anchored into the 5D reality matrix, which is a temporal vortex designed to hold the light body in proper sequence for the activation of their 144 strand DNA. You must let go of matrix reality 3D systems to hyper segment sequences are perfect. You will be greeted by a galactic ambassador and offered an opportunity to join the planetary activation crew. We are laser targeting team leaders. Hold on now, last page. We are across the globe now for the momentum phase. Oh, bitches. For the momentum phase. For the momentum phase. For the momentum phase of the planetary activation team buildup. Star Child has master program codes which initiate new sequences according to planetary and galactic alignments. Tap into Star Child and he'll 
tap into you. Follow your team captain's guidance to the T. You will set the earth free and all live a life of splendor with a family of crystal rainbow living love light. And then there's a Bible verse. A verse from the good book, and I should read that. Let me get my Bible. Most important book ever on the planet, ladies and gentlemen. Most important book ever. Where the fuck is Chronicles, man? Dude, I ain't been in my Bible for a while. I had a really powerful reading of the Bible yesterday, and it knocked my socks off. You haven't been in the Bible for a while. You were there. Hardcore, is Man, Second Chronicles, I think is an Old Testament yet. Yeah, it is Old Testament. I'm sure of it. I just don't want to miss it. Flipping through the, the thin flick, slip, razor, shit, fox, slap, chop, up the butthole of Donald Sequence. Donald Trump will never let me put nothing up his butthole unless he fucks up so bad I fuck him with a fucking six iron from Arnie Palmer. That'd be a good one. That'd make Star Child a lot of money, Trump. That'd be on the dark web. Hey, Mooney. Here's First Chronicles. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost to Second Chronicles. Mooney, how you know how to do it with make up an administrator and do all this shit for the dark web? Yeah, my computer's are set up for it. I don't have my account set up to my Bitcoin thing to purchase from my new bank account yet, so I'll have to do that. It takes one day. Second Chronicles Chapter 2. Oh, shit, I'm on Chapter 26. Damn, it's so much work to flip back. I hate doing extra work. Damn it, self, for flipping too far. You're so stupid, self. Man, I was just off on that shit. Chapter one. Now, here's chapter two of Second Chronicles, ladies and gentlemen, from the best book ever. And Solomon determined to build a house for the name of the Lord and, and a house for his kingdom. <sighs> and Solomon told out three score and ten thousand men to bear burdens and four score thousand to hew in the mountain and three thousand and six hundred to oversee them. And Solomon sent to Hermon, the king of Tyre, saying, As thou didst deal with David, my father, and didn't send him or cedars to build him a house to dwell therein, even so deal with me. He said, Behold, I build a house to the name of the Lord my God, to dedicate it to him. And to burn before him sweet incense and for the continental continual shrew bread and for the burnt offerings morning and evening on the Sabbath and on the new moons and on the solemn feasts of the Lord our God. This is an ordinance forever to Israel. And the house which I build is great, for great is our God above all. All gods. But who is able to build him a house? Seeing the heaven and heaven of heavens cannot contain him. Who am I then that I should build him a house, save only to burn sacrifice before him? Send me now, therefore, a man cunning to work in gold and in silver and in brass and in iron and in purple, and crimson, and blue, and it can skill to grave with the cunning men that are with me in Judah and Jerusalem, whom David my father did provide. And then it says, send me also cedar trees, bitch. Third trees and algum trees out of Lebanon, 
For I know that thy servants can shield to cut timber in Lebanon, and behold, my servants shall be with thy servants, even to prepare me timber in abundance. For the house which I am about to build shall be wonderful great. And behold, I will give to thy servants the hewers that cut timber, 20,000 measures of beaten wheat, and 20,000 measures of barley, and um, 20,000 baths of wine, and 20,000 baths of oil. Then Haram the king of Tyre answered in writing, in which he sent to Solomon, because the Lord hath loved his people, he hath made the king over them. Hiram said, Moreover, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel that made heaven and earth, who hath given life to David the king, a wise son, endured with prudence and understanding that might build a house for the Lord, and a house for his king, Yama. And how now I have sent a cunning man. Endued with understanding of Hiram uh, fathers. Oh shit. Oh, uh, what? No, no, I'll wait. And with understanding of Haman's fathers, the son of a woman of the daughters of Dan. And his father uh, was a man of Tyre, skillful to work in gold and in silver and brass, in iron and stone, in timber, in purple, blue, and fine linen, and in crimson also to give any meaner manner of graving, and to find out every detail which shall be put to him with thy cunning men, Uh, look, uh, with that cunning man, where the fuck are the cunning men again? Oh, come on now. Can't be that far. Cunning men of my dead lord, thy father. Now, therefore, the women and the barley, the oil and the wine, which was from my lord, which health had spoken of. And hey, I'm just going to say, I offered half one. Didn't want me then, didn't want me now. And we will cut wood out of Lebanon, and much as thou shalt need, and we will bring it to thee. <sighs> we'll bring it to thee in fucking Walmart carts. This is the updated version of... Walmart Bible and everything that comes from anywhere comes from Walmart and Walmart gets uh, compensation because they're poor and they need money to feed their children billionaires dude I can't see straight now my fucking retard of shit fuck up goddamn and the son uh, I already did that. Here we go. And Solomon numbered all the strangers that were in the land of Israel. After the numbering wherewith David his father had numbered them. And they were found in 150,000 and 3,600. And he set three score and 10,000 of them to be bearers of burdens, and fourscore thousand to be hewers in the mountain, and three hundred thousand or three thousand and six hundred officers, I'm sorry, overseers, to get set the public a work. That was some good shit, man, from the best book that ever existed. Ever will 
world without end. Bless your hearts. Call me at 651-235-5145. This has been a report of Intel from the Star Child Black Ops Intel Services. Good. Bye.